the 2K Sports pregame show. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside my buddy Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, welcoming you to 2K Sports. This is the NBA preseason on 2K Sports. Tonight we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Denver Nuggets at Pepsi Center. For the Nuggets, Going into this final exhibition contest, they've only lost one game over the complete preseason schedule. That's a run they'd love to see continue in the weeks to come. And having worked through the offseason, reshuffling of rosters, summer leagues, now in the preseason phase, Kenny, for each of the teams here tonight, what do you think's at stake? Building <coughs> chemistry. Excuse me, Kenny. That's okay. No problem. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, but you, you sure? got to build chemistry. Hold on. <coughs> Thank you, Ernie. Appreciate see, it. See, that's chemistry right there, Ernie. Being able to help your others uh. and help your teammates identify your style of play while another guy needs something, you can help him up. This is <coughs> all. Thanks, Ernie. Well, you burnt me. Extra. I extra. said thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Here's Kevin Harlan. That was nasty. Oh, say does that. Star Spangled Banner yet wave Over the land of the free And the home of the Welcome back to our NBA preseason coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's the last day of the preseason. Opening day not too far away. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. Our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. We'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Denver Nuggets. Taking a look at Oklahoma City, here they are in the last exhibition game before the season starts. Only one loss for them so far in the preseason. Kevin, that's what the preseason is for. I mean, it's about fine-tuning and getting ready for when the games really count. You, you want to take care of getting better so when the regular season does start, you are ready to perform. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Well, guys, Paul Millsap has become one of the best NBA big men when it comes to getting steals. Now, Millsap says when you're six foot eight going up against guys that are seven feet, you're not going to be able to block their shot every time. So you try to get it down low when they bring it down. It's all about being smart and using what you have. Kevin? Thank you, D.A. And Millsap is as crafty as it gets on defense, one of the most underrated players in the game. Some good bigs, some good forwards going head-to-head -head tonight. Brent, in your opinion, which teams have the best front court units right now in the NBA? Kevin, the only one that really comes to mind right now as an established front court to me that, that starts and plays a bulk of the minutes is DeAndre Jordan and Blake Griffin in Los Angeles. Uh, those two guys continuing to grow, learning through some losses, but more winning in recent years. That's a pretty dynamic combination, although I would tell you, Philly's got something brewing, don't you think? There's no doubt, and Embiid is at the very uh, beginning of that conversation. They've got some length, they've got uh, very unique bigs. It's an interesting group to watch develop. We could also throw in possibly Gorgie Jang and Carl Anthony Towns. Might as well include those young guys as well. You know, anything with Towns in it, I think, has got to be part of the conversation. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Westbrook and Robertson are the backcourt pair. Anthony is out. Oh, oh, oh. No. 
<laughs> that just happened. I know it's just two, but man, that's a nice two. Westbrook with the insane creativity. That's tipped. Westbrook with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Westbrook's got his second basket. And at full speed, he still has the wherewithal to get himself in good position. Yeah, the snap decisions right there. Reading the situation on the move and then making the right choice. And he wasn't going to get away with that one. Still in motion when he set that screen. Yeah, really trying to sell it out there, but the official just he ain't buying. Shot's good by Anthony. That's not an easy shot, but Carmelo Anthony has made his living making tough ones. Murray kicks to Harris. Poke loose, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession. We've played just over a minute here in the first. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Yeah, a couple turnovers here early on in the quarter, but he's got to just tighten it up a little bit. Anthony against Millsap. Here's Adams. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Adams brings the double team. And Jokic wide open. He shoots. No good again that time. Looking at Denver, they want to turn it around after the loss to the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, and in a hostile environment, they did not rise to the occasion, especially on the defensive side. Yeah, it felt like they were teenagers during the summer. Low levels of activity allowed too many good looks. Just not their night. And there's the foul. That's on Steven Adams. That is his first foul of the game. Millsaps against Anthony. Millsap kicks to Murray. Off target from three-point range. The Thunder have gotten all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. They get it back. Roberson. And that basket pushes the lead to double digits. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Jokic with his screen on Westbrook. So the wing on the left. Harris outside. Jokic sets the screen for Harris. Six to shoot. Puts up a three. Sinks the triple. Harris has got himself on the board with three there. Outstanding look from the perimeter from Gary Harris. When he gets space to shoot from there, he has no problems with it. The shot by George, no good. The Nuggets trail by seven. Well, a great battle last year as the season finished off between the Nuggets and Blazers to make the playoffs. Denver did not. So they made some trades, tried to make a push. This year, they've got to make some improvements and maybe find themselves in one of those top eight slots to play in the postseason. For three, Murray. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. This preseason match with Denver giving them a chance to check out this Nuggets team. But remember, they won the season series against this club last year, so they are comfortable. Poke loose. He'll zap a screen. Murray kicks to Harris. No good on the triple. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. A nice shot by George. Oh, great ball movement there. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Murray kicks to Chandler from past the arc. And Roberson pulls it down. Here's Oklahoma City now. They're on a 14-3 run. And it's Anthony with the jam. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. And if you check out the strategy, you can see already the plays that they're calling. Feels like they found a weakness or two in the defense. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. Well, if you look at Andre Robertson's stats, you would wonder why he gets so much playing time. Not a great scorer, gets a ton of minutes, and I'll tell you why. He can defend wing players and great scorers in this league like a hawk. That's the reason why he became a valuable performer through the years for Oklahoma City.
chance to check out stats for Nikola Jokic. He's coming off an excellent season. He was around 16 points per last year, 10 rebounds and five assists. You know, year one, he was learning the ropes. I think he's hoping to make a much bigger impact in his second campaign. Absolutely. As a rookie, the game just goes incredibly fast. Sophomore year, things start to slow down. And you look at Robertson, and he is clearly a defensive specialist for this team. Well, he's a great wing defender and so many great offensive weapons at the two and three spot in the conference, the Western Conference, that he is familiar with. Does a great job of going out on a nightly basis and doing what he does best. That's playing defense for his ball club. Wide open look here for Murray, nailed from three-point land. Murray's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Here's Adams. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Here's Millsap. A second chance effort. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on George. And Jokic doing a better job there of using his body inside and getting the angle. Then finds his way to the line. Good on both. Brent, there are a lot of great passers in the NBA at that starting center position. Seems like it's something that is more and more valued these days, but the best of the bunch might be Jokic. Some people feel great passer in vision. Yeah, incredible the way that the offense last year transitioned around such a young and, and relatively unproven player at that position, but he can pass over the top. When he gets it on the block, he'll play at the top of the key, and I love how the guys around him are encouraged to cut when he has the basketball. And George, here we go. Methodical in their approach. They have absolutely owned this first quarter. Yeah, you can credit the play calling. Nothing really fancy, just imposing their will on the inside. Murray with it. Now Anthony defending. Stolen by Westbrook. Takes it from 10. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. The Nuggets trail by 12. Adams brings the double team. Out to Chandler. Takes the three. Thunder with the rebound. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. A yeah, terrific performance, really, sink on both sides of the ball. Well, particularly on offense, they mix things up rather well. They scored on all three levels. The Thunder leading by 12. Here's Westbrook. Jokic grabs the miss. Credit the defense, wisely avoiding fouling the shooter. Don't want to give up a personal there. And he made him attempt a difficult layup. For three, Murray. Here's Jokic. And that one is off. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. Here's George. And some very quick points for him on that possession. George has got eight points. Uh, he's been on his A game seeking good shots. And he's a huge reason why tonight they're winning. Millsap left side. Stolen by George. And now Anthony pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Oh, and the jam by Anthony. I feel like that was instinctual for Melo, like he's seen it before. Able to swipe that ball away. Timeout, Denver timeout. calls timeout. We see it so often. A player will languish in one system, then flourish in another. Brent, during your 14-year career, which coach the best? Well, I think my years in Seattle, we opened up the offense a little bit. and had the opportunity to play more of a, a point off guard. But I also enjoyed the structure of what Greg Popovich's system in San Antonio offered up as well. It's always interesting, Kevin, with players who are languishing on benches for other ball clubs, how general managers start to assess whether that guy can be part of something great if they were to bring him in. I had the opportunity to play for a lot of great coaches and thought that I mixed up my game enough to make it a long career. And I like this timeout. You're getting terrible rim protection right now. 
Well, you got to ask your team to give you a little bit more effort because there's just not a lot of fire on the defensive end. Big group substitution here for Denver. Kenneth Fareed, he's checked in for Jokic. Vernon Gomez comes in for Wilson Chandler. Martin's checked in for Harris. And Jameer Nelson is subbed in for Jamal Murray. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Patterson, he's checked in for Adams. Jeremy Grant comes in for Anthony. Brenes is checked in for Andre Robertson. And Chris Dunn's subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And Paul George kind of made it known of his desire to leave for L.A. after this season. But big risk for the Thunder to make that move and trade for him. And for Paul George, who knows what the future holds for him, but Greg, he is a great fit, it would seem, for the Thunder. Listen, you give the Thunder another star to pair with Westbrook, and they're taking a leap of faith here with George. Knocked loose, stolen by George. Patterson down low, Fareed defending. And already, they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Nelson, no one around him. And it's off from three-point range. And now the fast break, George with the ball. Ooh. Okay. That's how you attack. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressive coming out of the gate here, guys. Wow. And already the lead is significant. Excellent play on both ends. They double him with George. Millsap with it. Now defended by Grant. Nelson kicks to Barton. Good! And a nice assist from Nelson. Barton's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. This is the list of last season's top shooters from the charity strike. These guys were practically automatic. Fifth best, Paul George. He was locked and loaded from the free throw line all season. Never suffered through any real lulls in that department. Screen by Fareed. The three ball. On the rebound goes to the Thunder. 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Grant, that's good. And it's about the tempo, guys. It favors them. And just look at that score. Yeah, I'm a little bit exhausted here trying to keep up with these guys, and I'm just watching. And they always attempt to wear you out. Hernan Gomez. Got a hand on it. Millsap against George. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Stolen away. Gets it off. What a play. He simply drains it in at the buzzer. And they make sure to get the last shot of the quarter there. Nicely done. Yeah, good awareness there to beat the clock. Now they have a break in the action to discuss some other things. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. Thunder out in front, ending the first quarter with an energy burst, a 19-6 run. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Thanks again for tuning in as we get going once again with our coverage of the NBA preseason. And guys, we've seen the Thunder really take control here. So far, they've been active scoring the basketball, built up a little lead here, and looking good. Well, when you come out in the first quarter with that kind of offense, obviously the game plan is in full effect. Let's see if they can keep that momentum going. The Thunder leading by 19 points. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So for Oklahoma City right now, on the wing, Zabrinas and George. Patrick Patterson is out there with Grant, and it's Kristen in at the point. Nelson kicks to Barton. There's the double team with Grant. Near the three-point line, it's Nelson. That one's in, his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Really good job from Barton there to swing the ball over for the easy shot. Good vision on that play. And Paul George again. George has got 17 now. 
And Brent, when you hear Donovan on the sideline or in the huddle, it's clear how big a motivator he can be for his team. He, he certainly gets the most out of his players from the stars to the end of the bench. One thing that Billy Donovan did in the early part of taking the job with the Oklahoma City Thunder, and I remember it well, Kevin, I went to the UCLA campus where Billy Donovan had invited most of the roster for the Oklahoma City team, and he started to establish that trust in the offseason, being there for workouts, understanding the personalities of his team, and getting to know his guys. All of those things have reaped some incredible rewards in the early part of Billy Donovan's coaching career. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldrich. Well, guys, Emmanuel Moutier spent a year in China prior to the NBA rather than playing in college. A lot of people respect what he did while he was over there. He said, being in a foreign country, everything is different. It made me mentally strong. Now in the NBA, he said, you've got to have confidence because every point guard in this league can play. You've got to keep that edge and be prepared at all times. Kevin? Thanks, David. Mental fortitude is critical, especially when you're a young player in this league. Denver making a switch here. Plumlee's checked in. Patterson bringing the double. For three, Nelson. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Here's Fareed. Nine points, last game out. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Had the space there, but it's offline. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Here's Chris Dunn. But they'll get another chance. And George, here we go. And George with the stuff. And I just love the aggressiveness from George. Just slicing apart the defense with that terrific ability to penetrate. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. So many great point guards in the league right now, guys, who can do much more than just facilitate Brent. How has that position, in your mind, evolved over the years? I think watching these point guards play, Kevin, and their ability to score the basketball has been remarkable. There, there have been guys throughout the history of the league that have been tremendous scorers at the point guard position, but now with the emphasis on three-point shooting and less about point guards traditional role of setting up the rest of the team. That's why you're seeing such dynamic play from that position. Take a look at Mike Malone as he made the switch from the Sacramento Kings and made his way to the Rocky Mountain and he's got these fans on a high. He wants a lot from his players. He's got a lot of youth on this roster and is treating each one of them fairly until one steps out as a superstar for the Nuggets. Wilson Chandler's checked in for Fareed. And a switch here also for Oklahoma City. Adams, he's checked in for Paul George. Here's Barton. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Well, don't get surprised by that burst from Plumlee. He crashes in for the rebound, has the athleticism, and finishes with authority. And he wasn't about to do anything that would get him in trouble there. Nope, uh, up and in with a one-hand uh, finish, uh, the most basic possible. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say last touch by Adams. With his young roster that Malone is charged with, he has made some adjustments and rewarded players for stepping up to the task. I think that's what you need to do with the young roster, but also Mike Malone, Kevin, I think is learning a bit more about how he wants to coach. He's learning a bit about these young players himself. So they have a nice bit of symmetry that's building around this basketball team that could produce a lot of successful seasons under his tenure. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Adams has got 10 points in the game. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Adams brings the double team. And there's the foul. It's on Steven Adams. That'll be his second foul of the game. And they can't afford to be that careless. They need him out there on the floor. So he has to avoid fouling again in this period. Jokic has checked in for the Nuggets. Harris comes in for Will Barton. Here's Chris Dunn. The shot from the low post is good. Chris Dunn's got four points this quarter. 
Well, he's like a carpenter out there. Great floor awareness. Zipping the ball over to his teammates with ease. Murray kicks to Harris. Here's Chandler. And another miss by Denver. And getting a hand in the shooter's face, locking down that in-between area. Well, just taking on the challenge on every possession. I love defenders who give nothing away. And Adams sends it back. Adams is a decent shot blocker, but relies on his position mostly, that time in the right spot. Harris with it. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against San Antonio. Jokic passes to Chandler. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Chandler's got his second basket. Well, the defense looked lost there. Get out your compass. No excuses. You got to guard the perimeter. Yeah, bad shot there. Trust is lacking. You, you got to be willing to make the extra pass. Yeah, just too anxious to try and make something happen out there. This is about the team, not about you. Yeah, a little too physical on that play. Tries to climb over the top of him and gets whistled for it. Big difference between aggressiveness and awareness. There's no way he's getting that rebound right there. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Anthony's checked in for Jeremy Grant. Oberson comes in for Alex Sabrinas. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Krista. And the former college defensive player of the year in his conference, few knew that Westbrook would reach such elite scoring at the pro level. Greg, when you think about the franchises in the league that have sustained success, who are always competitive, Oklahoma City should be right there at the top. Yeah, I mean, just look at the records for the Thunder, and their success really does speak for itself. Uh, eight straight seasons of 500 or better basketball. Only the Spurs and Rockets can also make that claim. The Thunder shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And Melo's still bringing the passion to the floor. No matter what's going on around, he's still going to be a gamer. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. On the wing, Chandler fires from deep. Thunder with the rebound. Adams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Baseline try. Westbrook, no good. The Nuggets trail by 20. Here's Chandler. Chandler with another miss. Well, he's gotten shots up, but they're not finding the rim. The squad's suffering because of it right now. A bit out of rhythm. And here is Murray. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Anthony. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Westbrook with it. Now guarded by Murray. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the foul against Denver. For Oklahoma City, they have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. Denver's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Knocked away. Plumley with the screen. Murray kicks to Chandler. Down low, Jokic. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one's on Anthony. You watch Jokic out there, and you just marvel at the combination of his size and his soft hands and his ability to see the court. Very strong on offense from all spots on the floor, stretches you out, makes the mid-range jumper from time to time. But he's always moving to open space, and guys just seem to get energized when he has the ball because he's going to get it to him. With Jokic, he seems to be the whole package in the offensive end. Brent, great footwork for his age, but the one area that needs to come along is his defense, many feel. Well, Kevin, maybe defense and conditioning, but on offense, he has every tool that you'd want from a center. Actually, every tool you might want from a point guard. That's how good he sees the floor, and incredible to think of what the offense did and how it transitioned behind what Jokic is capable of doing on that end. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. The Nuggets shooting 44% from the field in the second. Murray, the pass to Jokic. It's stolen by Adams. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Patterson, that's good. Patterson's got his first points of the game. Out quickly, then the beautiful execution. You can't do it any better. 
Well, there's running the floor, and then there's running the floor with purpose, and I love the energy on this play. And stolen by Patterson. And finished off by Westbrook. So fast and so aggressive. Hard to stop Westbrook when he's tearing down the court like he did there. Denver shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. Murray kicks to Jokic. Denver passing it around. Harris, nice jump shot from the top of the key. Harris has got five. Oklahoma City dictating the flow. Anthony dishes to Adams over Plumlee. Again, Oklahoma City. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Now here is Harris. He's got five. Chandler outside. Pass to Jokic. And count it. And a chance for one more at the free throw line. Growing confidence for Jokic around the rim. Feels like no defender can stop him in the paint. And really the past few seasons, the Thunder have just been a dominant team on the glass. They do a great job of limiting second chance points, and they get a lot of extra possessions with their own offensive rebounding. Here's what Denver's going with right now. Fareed's checked in for Plumlee. Millsap comes in for Wilson Chandler. And Nelson is subbed in for Gary Harris. One shot, gentlemen. Free throw, good. Jokic. You look over the roster of the Thunder, and it's easy to see why they're such a great rebounding team. One through five can come up with ten boards on any given night. And, and those rebounding totals usually translate to wins for this team. But very rarely do they lose a game when they're having their way on the glass. The, the goal at the end of the night is to play the bully in and around that painted area. From the baseline. And the shot is long. The Nuggets trail by 21. Millsap passes to Nelson. Murray for three. The basket good off the assist from Nelson. Eight points for Jamal Murray. They're having more success from three-point range here in the second after a rough first quarter from deep. And it's good, two points. And the Thunder lead by 20. Carmelo really has great footwork down low, showing off the feel right there when he gets near the paint. Millsap has the open look. And again, Denver with the triple. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. And George gets it to go. And George just has that extra gear. Well, once he kicks into it, he is nearly impossible to stop. Fareed outside. And there's the pass to Jokic. Back to Fareed, and Fareed throws it down. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. And so it's Oklahoma City out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Mike Malone. Things got away from you guys in the first half. What happened out there? Transition baskets, offensive rebounds, two of the areas that we knew coming into this game that we had to control. There's no sense of urgency right now. We're just shooting the ball. We're waiting to get back, and they're getting easy runouts. A lot to clean up, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to this preseason edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Shaq, Kenny the Jet. Paul George taking care of business in this one. He had 23 points, four steals, and three rebounds. He's been playing extremely well lately and making some new highlights for us already in this one. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. Right up front, we saw the elite two-way game of Paul George. Locking down guys defensively, lesser athletes have almost no chance to score on him. And then he was in total command on the offensive end, made plays for others, and shot lights out for himself. 
And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. Well, they got to do a better job on the glass. Ernie, they got outworked. They were weak physically. That's part of how they fell behind in this game. I think if they can control those things, they'll be okay, Ernie. So that'll do it for now as we send you courtside with Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K crew for the start of the second half. The Denver skyline looking absolutely gorgeous tonight as we return to the Mile High City. And we're getting back to the action. It's the NBA preseason here on 2K Sports. You look at Paul George in this game, guys. He, he's been everywhere. Yeah, on the cut, off the dribble. He is a factor, and we saw that in the first half. Coaches talk about having slashers on the team, and this is what they do. They get into the heart of the defense. They force difficult rotations. He's been tough to contain. Always a joy to get a sneak peek of the NBA season ahead as we get back to the action. Chandler at small forward with Millsap the four. Murray and Harris in the backcourt, and it's Jokic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Well, using his wide frame right there, Adam's able to get the position he wants and drops it through. There's the double team with Westbrook. Outside Millsap. Back to Murray. Baseline jumper. Millsap, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Yep, that one goes. Well, not many guards are able to get to that spot as quick as Westbrook does. It's a comfort zone for him. Tipped away. That's going to be Back over and back. Violation. Not watching for the line that time. Now a chance to see the numbers for Murray. Last season's performance for him. Put up about 10 points per game, two rebounds, and two assists. And he's putting in the effort, and you can see him getting better with time. So many little things that you have to learn to grow as a player. He's just going through a bit of that process right now. Man, sharp here to start the half. That's three in a row. The Nuggets trail by 21. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Well, at six foot eight, Millsap is still a threat to get up in the air and get those down. Here's Anthony, and it's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got three rebounds so far in the game. Yeah, just the first miss of the half there. They have to be happy three or four to start it off. Millsap misses. The defense would a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. And as you would expect, Stephen Adams has grown into a larger role with this team. Really came in as a guy who could defend and rebound, but starting to become more of a factor within their offensive framework. Poked away. Stolen by Westbrook. Chandler against George. Over Chandler. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. It's off to Utah for him after this game as they take on the Jazz. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Basket is good, the assist from Harris. Ten points for Wilson Chandler. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Out of bounds, Denver takes possession. Yeah, just not good court awareness there. You cannot afford to be careless. That just leads to bad turnovers. And the Nuggets making a change here. Herning Gomez is checked in. Time, out, time, time out. called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Brent, Party. coming down the stretch of a tight game, some coaches like to substitute for offense and defense. Others don't. What would be your preference if you were coaching? I think the idea has to totally do with matchups, Kevin. You're looking out on the floor. If all of a sudden the guy you want with the ball has a mismatch or an advantage, I'm going to stay away from any sort of timeout to give a coach 60 seconds to talk about something that he could probably shut down. I might not be able to be as creative as what's just happened in the flow of the game, and I'll trust my player to make the right play for me at that time. Yeah, you can't make any excuses right now for them giving the ball up as much as they have in this one. Hopefully they can get on the same page during this timeout.
here's a look at some stats for Westbrook. Great showing for him last season. Tops in scoring, third in assists, and he also finished the season in the top 10 in rebound. It's just a terrific year on the glass. And his unmatchable instincts for scoring the basketball. That's what made him number one last year. You can't stop him, and you can't even really contain him. They get a hand on it, and that'll be Denver as it goes out of bounds. Nuggets retain possession. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scorers from a season ago. Russell Westbrook, number one. And he's not going to forget that season anytime soon. And it's safe to say neither will anyone who watched him. Martin's checked in for Denver. And then for Oklahoma City, Alex Abrinas comes in for George. And Chris Dunn's subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Here's Chris Dunn. Here's Adams, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Adams has got four points now in the quarter. On the wing, Chandler. Misses the three. Oklahoma City leading by 18. And here we go with Adams running it up the court. I give the defense a C-plus on that possession, but still, I I'm sure he's upset he missed. Over in the corner, Chandler. Sinks the three-pointer. Chandler's got 13. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Well, Adams, surprisingly there, maybe a little bit more assertive on the offensive end. Good to see him throw that one down. Passes to Hernan Gomez. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Adams. To the middle. Here's Chris Dunn. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. That one on Chandler. The Thunder have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. First free throw is good. And really, the Nuggets, a stronger team than many had predicted last season. One area that troubled them was the defensive end. And when they would lose, it was usually by being unable to come up with consistent stops. Mason Plumley's checked in for Wilson Chandler. Patrick Patterson, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Grant comes in for Andre Robertson. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Chris Dunn. Millsap left side. Hits the jumper in space. He's got 13. And for the Nuggets and their defensive issues, uh, Greg, a lot of it stemmed from their lack of rim protection. Yeah, and the inability to challenge shots in general, for that matter. And they also had problems applying pressure and forcing turnovers as a team at the bottom of the league in terms of turnovers forced. Barton kicks to Millsap. Stolen by Grant. And Westbrook, here we go. And finished off by Westbrook. Man, shot out of a cannon. Westbrook so quick on the dribble drive. Defenders with no way of getting over there fast enough to stop him. That was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Outside Millsap. Barton in the corner, beyond the arc. Carmelo Anthony comes up with the rebound. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. A good timing on the fast break. We don't talk about that enough. Melo coming into the play and then finishing it off. Knocks it loose, and it goes out of bounds. That one's off Anthony for the Nuggets. Kenneth Fareed's checked in for Plumlee, and Jameer Nelson is subbed in for Murray. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. Robertson's checked in. Nelson against Westbrook. Anthony on the double team. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That'll be his second foul of the game. Nelson kicks to Millsap. Shot clock at six. Will it go? Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. It's Anthony with the drive. Count that as his seventh field goal in 10 tries. He's shooting a very good 70%. Mello buries these kind of shots all the time. It seems like there's not a difficult shot in Mello's handbook. 
Millsap in the corner. Again, Millsap missing. The Thunder shooting so well, 63% the offense working as one cohesive unit. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. And the Denver Nuggets get called for the foul. The Thunder have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. Both free throws good from Anthony. And beyond his ability to shine on the basketball floor, you have to commend Carmelo Anthony's effort, Greg, to get NBA players and other athletes more involved in making the world a better place. Yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of work to be done, but guys like Melo see what is beyond the world of basketball. He's spoken out as well as done the legwork of being active in his communities and a lot of charity work for Melo. It's just nice to see the maturation process play out. Millsap passes to Hernan Gomez over Westbrook, and it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. Nuggets have gone 7-15 from the field here in the third quarter. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And really, Farid is just very comfortable from there. He waits for the right opportunity and then seizes the moment. Patterson, that's good. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Here's Barton. Sweet little floater. Barton's got five now. Smart play there from Barton to establish himself on the inside to convert. Charity stripe shot. Rebound by the Nuggets. Hernan Gomez has got three rebounds so far in the game. Barton outside. A floater. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Nelson from outside. That's good. And it's Millsap with the assist. And it's eight points for Jameer Nelson. Yeah, and sure, Millsap could have taken that one himself, but instead gives the teammate the open look. And that's really a function of the offense not working as it should. Yeah, maybe lazy play calling or just going through the motions on that possession. This often leads to a bad shot. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. 6'6", 175, that's one wily athlete. Will Barton tough to guard, given his height and his speed. And one of the things about Will Barton's game that, to me, makes him such a force is how unpredictable he can be. He plays at times almost like a man out of control, and it really does work to his advantage as he is a difficult guy to deal with in those one-on-one -on -one situations. 41 seconds left to play here in the third. Nelson outside. Jokic sets the screen for Nelson. And that one's good, Barton. And to back up the point with Barton in his chaotic play style, he knows exactly what he's about. Famously saying, Greg, <laughs> I'm so creative most of the time, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, that might sound glib, but it is just how Barton plays. I mean, a fantastic competitor who just does what it takes to win. He gives you a little bit of everything out on the floor. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Mello powering his way through the defense down there. He's used to that kind of contact throughout his career. And Anthony drops them both. There's 14 seconds left to play in the third. Poke loose. Outside Westbrook. Count it. Westbrook's got 25 points. More power of Westbrook shown there. Not many guys can finish through contact like that. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for Oklahoma City. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And we're getting back to the action. It's the NBA preseason here on 2K Sports.
The Nuggets shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Taking a look at the Thunder, Felton is out there with Krista. Then there's Nick Collison. Then it's Kyle Singler. And it's Hustis in at the four spot. And it's out of bounds. The Nuggets able to retain possession here. Moutier kicks to Lyles. Good on the shot. Lyles got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Nuggets. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. So it's Denver now. Now Nelson. Here's Fareed. The basket good off the assist from Nelson. Nelson's got nine assists now tonight. That's their third straight make off an assist. Here's Collison. Lays it up off the glass. Collison's got four points this quarter. I really like the awareness, noticing that he's got the mismatch. And then he just used his size as his advantage on the layup. They set the pick. Poke loose. Stolen by Collison. Over for Reed. Here's Felton. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And this is what happens when you fail to block out. Defensive rebounding just as important as causing the miss in the first place. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Moutier with the rebound. Nuggets have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Shots good by Lyles. If there's a skill set you like your point guard to have, that's exceptional court vision. Moutier shows it off there with that assist. An open jump shot there, and their D not putting up any resistance today. Doubled by Felton. Mason Plumley's checked in for the Nuggets. Grant, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Here's Nelson, and that one, good. Like the awareness there, Plumlee quickly assesses his options and moves it. Collison kicks to Eustace. Arthur grabs the board. Nuggets have gone an outstanding 4 of 5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. He feeds it to Nelson. But three. That shot is off, coming up empty for the second time this game. Four for six. From the wing, and that one's good, Kristen. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Nelson outside, and so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. Here's Nelson. Got a piece of it to the inside. Here's Lyles. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Well, he's like a fumbling banker right now, dropping dimes with ease. I like how well he led his teammate on that possession. Yes, that goes in. Eustace has got four points now in the quarter. And some guys just have a nose for scoring, and this one couldn't have been any easier. Well, on the defensive end, this is a joke. The lack of awareness is exactly why this team is so far behind. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And nicely done. Running the floor well, then attacking the rim. Uh, the exclamation point in transition with the high percentage finish. Moutier dishes to Plumlee. Over Collison. And it's Plumlee that time on the assist for Moutier. Moutier's got three assists in the game. Grant and the dunk by Grant. Grant, one of those big guys that gets up off the ground like a guard. Love to see him throw it down. Nuggets have gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. There's the double team with Grant. From downtown, that shot no good. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. Christian can't get it to go. Denver's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. In the corner, it's Nelson. No good from outside. Man, it just hurts to miss shots like this. Mentally, you question yourself, and it can affect your confidence. Eustace, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. That one on Nelson. 
And the first one drops. Juan Hernan Gomez, he's checked in for Trey Lyles. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Abrinas is checked in for Raymond Felton. And the Nuggets over the past few seasons have done a great job as an organization of collecting talent. And with that steady approach, they've been able to develop a star with Jokic. The Nuggets took a very disciplined approach to building this team, and you can see the depth they enjoy, and it all starts with the job this front office has done. And showing a good nose for the ball there, picks it clean, then he's off to the races. And a good decision on the move. Too often we see teams have this kind of opportunity and fail to convert. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Well, Moutier gleaned some space there and then attacked viciously. And the Nuggets making a change here. Barton has checked in. He makes one of two that time. Now for the Thunder last season, the first one in the AD era, that stands for after Durant, you can imagine just how devastating his departure was for the fans of the franchise, but I think Sam Presti as the general manager prepared themselves for Kevin Durant leaving and for Russell Westbrook to assume the reins of the team. He dishes it to Plumlee. And another miss by Denver. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. And with OKC, as long as this team has been in this city, they have known success as a franchise. Part of the fear that losing KD in free agency was that the success was going to go with them. But on the shoulders of Russell Westbrook having an historic NBA season, averaging a triple-double, Billy Donovan got these guys to play pretty hard, ended up being in the playoffs, and now have young guys that maybe could show some potential to maintain a level of success this fan base is used to. Patterson, that's good. And how about the bounce pass? They are being used to perfection. Nuggets have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%, 7 of 14. Moutier kicks to Barton. To the paint, off the pick, and it's slammed in by Plumley. As much as you have to admire his burst in force, I think Plumley's aggressiveness on that play, the impressive part. And he wanted everybody in the building to feel that ferocity. And we did. Yeah. And we, we felt it. Even over here, we felt it. And stolen by Patterson. It's stolen by Moutier. Jameer Nelson's checked in for Denver. Plumley with the screen, doubled by Collison. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down, but drew contact. He'll head to the line. That's on Patrick Patterson. Well, a former five-star recruit won a championship in college. Plumley still finding his way a little bit here in the pros. And you see Mason Plumley and what he brings to the table right there, a very well-rounded big man. Solid at putting the ball on the floor and creating some space, but perhaps his best attribute, and we saw this in Portland with his teammates Lillard and McCollum, playing on the top of the key and becoming a playmaker, a good passer up there, averaging about four assists a ball game. Kept alive. Here's Collison. Second shot opportunity, and he sinks the layup. Collison's got 10 points here in the second half. He does not play the score. I mean, he's going to continue to work his tail off on the glass and make plays just like that. That's the kind of guy who does things that breaks the backs of their opponents because they're about wanting it more than the other guy you're up against. And a bit of a bittersweet question for you, Brent. We know you spent so many years with the Sonics who eventually were uprooted and became this Thunder team. How badly would you like to see Seattle get a basketball team again? I think it's the NBA's mission to get back to Seattle. And under Adam Silver, he's asked questions about the return to the Emerald City. And I, I think it's going to happen, Kevin. If it does, I'd love to be a part of what the organization does up there. I do miss the PNW. That's the Pacific Northwest. Nelson kicks to Hernan Gomez. Arthur. And again, Denver no good. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Oklahoma City. 
gotten as one-sided as it gets today. You know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Paul George. He affected the game so much with the way he was able to come out and get steals and extra possessions for his team. Now the team struggling to come back. He really wanted all of those free throws. Dishes it to Nelson. There's the double team with Grant. From the arc. Nice shot by Arthur. Nice ball movement to find Darrell Arthur rising up and releasing. Gets that to go. Collison, no good. Denver's gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on three point attempts here in the fourth. Plumley sets the pick for Barton. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And he wasn't going to get away with that one. Still in motion when he set that screen. Yeah, they're really trying to sell it out there, but the official just, he ain't buying. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Paul George. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. Fifty seconds left in the fourth quarter. Collison, no good. And turnovers have been the issue for him. You can see the coaches have gotten into him a little bit about this. They've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Plumley, no luck. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. You hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good example of how valuable it can be. Denver with the ball. Now the dish to Arthur. And the dunk by Arthur. Arthur, a good athlete, certainly long out there, and he skies up that time to bring it home. Grant, that's good. I'll tell you, when you're the visiting team, it can be hard to maintain focus, but not tonight. Uh, tonight they have stuck with what they do well, handling all the exterior pressure, and they're likely to come out on top here. Stolen by Grant. Running up the score, showing no mercy. Well, you want to close the door on any type of comeback effort. This has been a vault. ka <laughs> You're right. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Carmelo, what did you like best about the win tonight? We just played hard. Uh, we came out here ready to play. We jumped out there quick on a defensive end, and offensively, we got it going again. And it was a great team win today, though. 
everybody contributing. Carmelo, thank you. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. That'll do it for this NBA preseason game. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long, everyone.